Nazi slogan. Yeah, it's a Nazi slogan. It's a Nazi slogan. It's a Nazi slogan. It's a Nazi slogan. But if you touch yeah, me, what's up, that's not okay. Bitch. What's up? I can't wait to see you in the fucking lobby again. What's up? Is that a threat? Are we coming? So you like it when girls are scared of you? Oh my god, here you go with the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Laura Jadid. I am a freelance journalist. My bylines include Willamette Week and Portland Monthly Magazine. My footage has appeared on news networks such as CBS and ABC. On November 14th, I covered the Million MAGA March in Washington, D.C., where tens of thousands of Trump supporters protested what they believe is a stolen election. The majority of the crowd consisted of more or less regular people, the sort of person that, for better or worse, you might run into at the grocery store or live next to or eat an awkward extended family Thanksgiving with in times before COVID made everything profoundly weird. Scattered amongst these normies, however, more virulent ideologies lurk. The Proud Boys, an alt-light drinking fraternity with a penchant for street violence, enjoyed rolling brawls with counter-protesters and stabbed at least two people. The American Guard, a Nazi movement wearing the thinnest of bolero masks, also made an appearance. One far-right group, the Groypers, made a very strong showing at the MAGA rally. This is an extremely online group of mostly young people steeped in Chan culture and essentially the alt-right with a brand makeover. The movement's two founders are Patrick Casey, previous leader of explicitly white nationalist group Identity Europa, and Nick Fuentes, who, well, I'll let him speak for himself. I think in a way it's almost redundant to say that you're a white nationalist. We know that the word nation almost implicitly talks about ethnicity. And so I think if I call myself a nationalist, it's almost implicit in that word that it's, well, you know, America does have a heritage of being a European country. The new world will be written along the lines of ethnicity and race. It's not going to be about ideology and ideas and all that for very long. And the 2% African allows me to say the N-word, so I really have the best of all worlds. <laughs> like many modern white nationalist movements, Groypers are very comfortable hiding their power level by allowing people of color to join the movement. If you want to learn more about Groypers, check out the links in the description. It was approximately 11 o'clock p.m., and I was wandering the streets with John the Lefty, trying to figure out whether the night was over. John had already live-streamed the street brawls between the Proud Boys and leftist counter-protesters, which had by now petered out. Just as we were thinking of packing it in for the night, we ran across the Groypers, chanting and running off lone counter-protesters. We decided to film and see how things turned out. The Groypers clustered around a police car. That's the policeman right there, sitting on the hood. As you watch the rest of this video, ask yourself, where did this fine public servant run off to? As I continued to film, a Trump supporter from my hometown of Portland, Oregon, recognized me. Hey, y'all, this is Portland Antifa Press right here. This one right here. Right here. Oh, that's she loves to dox people. Right here, this bitch. Hey, what's up, bitch? How you Please doing? Please don't step on my foot. Hi, oh, bitch. How you doing, bitch? <laughs> what's up? How you doing, bitch? All the way from Portland? It's your little maggot Do not touch me. Maggot ass? I'm not touching you. Yes, you actually are. You definitely are, and I need you to stop, okay? Don't video me. None of your friends would come I'm allowed to video. Okay, you're well, not allowed I'm allowed to, to fucking be standing right fucking here. You absolutely here. are, but if you touch yeah, what's up, me, that's not okay. Stupid, bitch. What's up? I can't wait to see you in the fucking lobby again. What's up? I had, inadvertently, booked the same hotel as most of Portland's far-right travelers, and had tweeted about that coincidence earlier in the day. These individuals took this for a dox, a reveal of personal information not already available, for reasons that remain obscure since I mentioned neither full names nor the name of the hotel in question. I can't wait to see you in the fucking lobby again. What's up? Is that a threat? Are we coming? What, what, What's going to happen to be in the lobby? Can you nothing. elaborate? What's up? You want to you keep recording. You ain't going to do nothing. Keep recording. You ain't doing nothing. You ain't going to do nothing. Keep recording. What are you going to do? Keep recording, bitch. What are you going to do? Please don't touch me. Oh, please don't touch me. Yeah, you me. actually are. Please don't touch me. But you guys If fucking, you touch me, I might feel threatened. Guys, oh, and I don't want that. Call the cops. Oh, all cops are bastards. That's right. A-C-A-B, right? A-C-A-B. 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 Isn't that what you all care? So intend? when I say that I was intimidated later, will you say that I wasn't? Or will you admit that I was actually pretty intimidated right now? Yeah. 
What are you gonna keep doing? We feel What's up? Your friends come over to our town too. Hi! Fuck and T. They actually can't fuck see you because of the light, so you're you're fuck wasting your time. Antifa. Fuck and T. Is this fun for you? Yeah. Is it fun for you when Please you can't? Please stop touching me. Oh, what are you gonna do? Oh my God! I don't what are you gonna do? Oh my God! You're gonna, gonna freak out. What are you gonna do? Keep going! Keep going! Oh God! So you are gonna touch me? How much drugs have you been on tonight? Oh, Look at them pupils! The pupils are huge! Even with the How much fucking drugs have you done tonight? How much drugs have you done tonight? Can you answer how much drugs you've done? Because them fucking pupils are huge. I'm an ex-drug addict. I know what that is. What's up? You all a little meth? A little Adderall? Am I acting like I'm on meth? Fucking stupid shit? Standing here quietly, is that what meth is? Oh my god, standing here quietly, fucking video I'm doing. I'm actually completely allowed to do this, this is legal. Okay. It's my First Amendment right to okay. be here. It's right? I know. Do you believe in social distancing, honey? Yeah. Six feet, bitch! Six feet! You came up to me. Six feet. You came up to me. Six feet. I did not ask for this. Six feet. She got two masks and social distancing. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Yeah, you are ridiculous. Yes, you are fucking Does it make you feel powerful? Does it make you feel powerful wrong. that I'm afraid of you? What? Does it make you feel powerful that I'm afraid of you? I don't care oh, what you, you feel. feel. But you, I don't care about, about anything that you think. But you, you know, actually are ever. talking about it, so it seems like you no do care. No. Listen to that voice in the background there again. No. But it seems no. like you no. do care. No. This is the kind of honesty I appreciate. It lays bare the dehumanization process at play here. In order to treat me in this way, or worse, I must become subhuman to them. It's a much more honest version of the constant far-right accusations that I exaggerate my discomfort in these moments for attention, the obsession with liberal tears, the phrase fuck your feelings, and so on. The enemy feels nothing, they merely pretend to, in the name of manipulation. Only conservatives truly experience fear, pain, and anger in this worldview. Actually, you're talking about it, but it seems like you do care. No, it amuses me. So you like it when girls are scared of you? Oh my god, here you go with the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, thank you. Oh, so you feel afraid right now? How? I mean, I'm a little nervous, How yeah. Why? Well, because you keep touching me, and there's someone shining a light I'm in my face. I'm standing here. You've How been touching me. Touching you? I'm holding a phone and a charger. Every night you guys fucking... go out and scream in the cops' faces. You don't yeah. think that makes them feel that way? Yeah. I don't really see what that has to do with anything. Answer the question. Answer it. That doesn't actually have to do with why I'm intimidated right now. You're just changing you're the subject. Ask, you're gonna keep deflecting. No, you're just you gonna change the subject. Answer the fucking question. You're, you're intimidating a woman alone, and you no, because you're intimidating a woman alone, and you don't want to feel bad about that. You. Yes. You came to me. No, you came to me. I have it on film. I was film. standing over there. I have it on film. And I was like, hey, you're Laura. You're like, oh yeah, here's a fucking video. Uh, no, I, I actually just started to uh, stand still, and then you came to me. I think it turns around. It does turn around. Oh, you're back. Just because it's, um, just because it's insane, doesn't make sense. Fuck Antifa! Fuck Antifa! Fuck Antifa! Fuck Antifa! Fuck Antifa! This goes on for a while. What was the point of taking pictures of us when you walked out of the lobby? What is the point of taking Ah, yes. Who can forget when Vladimir Ilyich Lenin established the USSR by sending a telegram declaring that he had inadvertently booked a room at the same hotel as the Tsar? What was the point of taking pictures of us when you walked out of the lobby? Answer that. It was a good picture. Now we're on the cross. It was a nice room. So he just takes pictures. That's right. That's my job. I'm press. It's not your political agenda. I'm a photojournalist. It's my job. It's your political agenda. Okay. It's your political agenda. Were you doing something? Hey, is this John or Jeff or whatever the fuck his Facebook is? This hey, John, how you doing? Guys, guys, everyone, wait. This is the archetype of someone who's wild. Yeah, she's a wild one. She has a few times. 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 Do not touch me. Why are you jealous? Why are you jealous? Yeah, you fucking do, you fucking liar, racist bitch. Yes, you do. Why don't you tell us? I don't know. Yeah, you fucking. It's not really a big deal, but I do love that this guy is holding a Budweiser can while he tells a very not.
hot drunk journalist that she drinks all the time due to her deep unhappiness. Do not fat, fucking fat, touch me! Racist piece of shit! Racist piece of shit! Racist piece of shit! Fuck all you pussy! What was the 14 word? Hey, hey, hey what was me? the 14 word? I don't appreciate it if you wouldn't tell No, what was it? So funny. You were asking what was it? You mean you want me to recite them? So what, yeah, yeah. what are the 14 no, words? No, no. Some context here. When these very fine people began to surround me, John rushed over and we stood back to back in this screaming mob. He'd asked these fine patriotic gentlemen if they were familiar with the 14 words, a famous Nazi slogan by David Lane. At least two of them are familiar, and we'll get to them in a second. All these accusations are just you. Why aren't you? Why aren't you? What fucking 14 words? Why aren't you? They bring it, they calling you out. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait. This is 14 words right here. Is this 14 words of the white supremacist shit you're talking about? Is that true? Is that true? Is it true? Wait, wait, wait. Back up with him. Give him a face. 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 Up and give him some face. This bearded gentleman and I had met earlier in the day when I attempted to take a picture by brushing a flag aside a few inches. You can see him in the background of this clip as his friend takes me to task for this egregious and dangerous breach of etiquette. Yeah, you better apologize. Don't. Don't touch shit again. Yeah. I was just trying to take a picture. Yeah. And I didn't we were actually. Here first. Back up. Did she intentionally touch somebody? Yes, she did. She reached up and pulled. What her I tried to do is I tried to do this. I want to get her under control. And that is, of course, the whole thing. Not a principled stand on nonviolence or the sanctity of personal property, but control. What is he asking? Why are you asking? America first! What? America first! America first! America first! America first! It's a Nazi slogan. Hey! He wasn't saying words. No, he says that you're saying No, I did What do you say? Oh look, here's that main guy who had concerns about me touching the flag earlier. Nobody will leave! We can't leave this way! We're surrounded, there's nowhere I can go. You gotta take the fucking man off your fucking nasty ugly face. Just because we say it doesn't mean it's true. You understand that? You gotta surround up like you had a fucking pair. You have surrounded us and stopped us. Here. What does that have to do with slogan. this guy? I said, is it a Nazi slogan? I You're asking leave. about that because for a whole fucking group of okay, people. Did he say oh, it's oh, it's yeah, we're all white oh, nationalists. He said it earlier. Right? He said it's full of white nationalists. He said it earlier. Yes, he did. He said it earlier. He said it earlier. Deflect and run, motherfucker. Deflect and run. Meet Baked Alaska. A social media influencer who likes to say a lot of straight up Nazi shit and then say he was joking. He renounced white supremacy in the wake of Charlottesville when that was the cool thing to do, but now he's hanging out with these fools, so you tell me. So this is all pretty useless. Yeah. Oh, like, wait a minute! Even, like, wait, you know, think, oh, oh, another white yeah. Yeah. You, you came up with some weird tactics. You stupid motherfucker! No, I can't do shit! You're a white nationalist. No, That's I'm all not. Boo! Boo! You don't know what I am. Remember earlier when John was asking about those 14 words and no one here knew them? Here's some footage of Baked Alaska from a 2017 Patriot Prayer Rally in Portland, Oregon. Can you, can you tell me the 14 words? Uh, the 14 words, you must hear the existence of our people. Hell yeah, bro. Yep. I live for it. I give you a hug. It's cool, though. He's an American nationalist, which makes it okay somehow. How does it feel to be? How does it feel to be a fascist? An actual fucking fascist. Hey, how does it feel to be a fascist? Who are you with? What's up, fascist bitch? What do you mean? Who are you with? How does it feel to be a Nazi fascist? Oh, I have no idea. I mean, I'm wondering. You're not around anybody that's a Nazi fascist except for yourself. How does it feel? Tell me how it feels. 
to be a fascist. I don't know. I don't fucking know. I hate fucking fascists. Tell me how it feels to be a fascist. I have no idea. You're a fascist. And I'm not. You guys silence any fucking voice that you're doesn't saying, agree with you. You're saying that while no, I'm you is silence. shining a light in my camera, which is really funny. Hey, why I'm you won't let me that. talk? I'm listening. Why you won't let me talk? Why you don't like my opinion? Why you don't like my opinion? Why you don't like my opinion? You don't like his opinion? You don't like my opinion? You don't like his opinion? You don't like my opinion? Because he's black and he has a different view of you? Is that why? Because that's the race fucking bullshit we're talking about. Am I Uncle Tom? Go ahead and say whatever you'd like. Say whatever you'd like. What would you like to say? What'd you say? Say whatever you'd like. What would you like to say? What would you like to say? Say it. I'd like to say, I love America. I love Western civilization. I love Western civilization. I love America. I love America. I love America too. I love Western civilization. No, I you love communism. You love socialism. I don't think you know what I love. What do you want? Tell us. Tell us. Y'all never say nothing. Y'all never say nothing. Y'all never say nothing. You won't let us say I can't hear you. You won't let me talk. Journalists again. Go ahead. I'm listening. It's very well. What I like is um, social justice. I like social justice. Social justice. What the fuck are you talking about? Social justice. What the. We get tired of that damn talking point. Okay. So suggesting. We tired of that talking point. Hey, you asked and I answered. Oh, wow. That's a bullshit answer, though. You asked and I answered. It's a bullshit answer. Well, I'm sorry you didn't like my answer. Social justice. So you believe that if you don't accept my view, you should kick my ass to make me believe what the fuck you think. That's, that's called social justice. That's what is social justice. You know what social justice is? That's I have the right. I have the right to my opinion. That's social justice. You absolutely when I have my right to my opinion, that's social justice. justice. No. You're the fucking Nazis and you don't even fucking you realize how bad you look right now. Same? No, I don't all of this. Bad. I don't you give a terrible. fuck what the fuck you think. The thing is... She got a right to her opinion. Oh, she has a right to her opinion. Notice that tone shift as soon as they remember that people are going to see this footage. You do have your right to opinion. You do have your right. We had a right to our Yes, you do. And y'all won't give it to us. Y'all don't give it to us. Y'all don't give us nothing. You don't give us Y'all can't yeah. take everything we got. Y'all want to take our money. Y'all want to take our land. Y'all want to take our tradition. Y'all want to take everything. Fuck you. Please yeah. look at the camera. Yeah. Woo. Well, it's hard because she's signing the light in there, but um, I got the audio if that helps. What? I can't understand. Learn a little bit. 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 Learn a you want me to tell you? I can tell you so tender. So what's up, 14 words? You want me to tell you? Truth is not relative. It's truth relative. Would you like to know the 14 words? USA! 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 Don't you? Hey, do you USA. Like, do you like the what USA? USA? Yes, actually, very much. You, you do? Yeah. So what of what of the USA do you want to change to make it better other than a socialist puke fucking world? This world don't run on emotion. And I'm oh, let me tell you, this world does not run on emotion. This world runs on love. Not on emotion. Not on you, not on your damn fucking feelings. Go hope Go hope Are you saying? Yeah, absolutely. Go hope Go home back! 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 You got to take it, brother. Alright, we don't need it. We got you, dictator King! I can't hear you. We need it. We cash a check for 50 people. Why don't you leave? Please! We're gonna surround it. Hey, you wanna leave? You wanna ask me? Make a hole! Make a hole! Hey, where do you wanna go? Where do you guys wanna go? Just DM me on Twitter and have to have this conversation. Where do you want to go? We're going to make a lane to get you out. I'm going to buy you a thing. I'm going to like to do it.
it over the internet if that's all right. No, I want to get you out of here safely. Which direction do you want to go? You know, if we just get out of the crowd, then we can make our own way. Hey, hey, make a hole. You may recall that this is the same guy who came up to me in the first place just a few short minutes ago. The one who stepped on my foot and called me a stupid bitch like 27 times and told me I was a fascist and alluded to something bad happening to me in the hotel lobby later. This is a hell of a tone shift, and I can't explain it better than Twitter user Ad Lusum does, who pointed out that breaking someone down and then offering a small amount of kindness comes straight from the domestic violence textbook. Regardless, I confess, I felt a great deal of relief as I followed the gentleman out of the crowd. Your rationale for, for taking off in the middle of all that chaos was when we, when we were sitting here and the two of us were surrounded by like 40 people that were threatening us. I didn't hear any threats, but uh, it was right here at the tail of the car. Uh, mm -hmm. but, but then you, but you, then you left. I didn't leave. I was here on scene the The cup of your car was gone. I eventually moved my car once the, the crowd just closed. Yeah. You just moved it and you were still standing here? I didn't hear the entire time. Oh, did you see the two that were telling me that I had five seconds to leave or they were going to beat my ass? No, I did not. Okay. All right, cool. I thought you just totally left. Yeah. It seemed like, uh, it's, it, to me, it seemed like you wanted them to beat my ass, but that's an assumption. No, I'm here to check everything. Okay, cool. Thank you. No problem. Have a good day.